What's going on guys? So today I wanted to uh, make a quick video um, on how to delete your air intake heater and uh, actually we're going to kill two birds with one stone on this one. We're also going to delete a block off plate and a boost gauge adapter. Um, and I got this part. It's a uh, billet aluminum made in the USA um, from Backwoods Diesel on eBay. I'm going to leave a link in the description. I believe it was $13.95 for the actual uh, block off plate and the, uh, the adapter on here. Um, it's pretty nice quality. I, um, I like it. It's, you can tell it's heavy. It's, it's not all choppy. It doesn't have a lot of uh, pieces of aluminum that are rough and hanging off. Uh, but to do the job, you're going to need a 26 millimeter wrench a 10 millimeter socket, a 13 millimeter socket, an extension, uh, and then just a regular 3 8 ratchet or impact, whatever you use uh, to pull the parts off. And then you're also gonna need either a 14 millimeter wrench or a 14 millimeter socket to disconnect the positive wire um, that goes to the air intake here. I uh, have cleaned up some parts on the engine here to make it easier to show you guys uh, exactly what we're gonna do and I'm gonna bring you in for a closer look. What you're gonna do is disconnect your uh, positive or, well, I always disconnect my negative terminals on my batteries uh, so you're not arcing, uh, which I've already done. Uh, you can see my negative terminals are disconnected. And then you're gonna wanna get a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet, and I've already done this most of the way, but you're gonna wanna take this 10 millimeter off. This is your positive wire, and it is attached right here on this uh, you're going to want to take this off this is where you're going to need your 14 millimeter this goes on here and mine's already loose i got everything ready to make it a faster video so you didn't have to watch me breaking nuts loose <laughs> so take that off um usually this little wire will be on top of it but take that off take your wire and you're going to pretty much just toss this in the trash you're not going to need that anymore and then you're gonna to wanna to disconnect the cap, remove that, and then pull off your negative terminal. And then this is where you're gonna need an extension, a 13 millimeter. And then I'm using my little Milwaukee uh, ratchet on this one. And you're gonna run down here. This is where your negative wire goes down through here and bolts to the block. Take that off. Disconnect that, pull that nut off, and pull that negative wire out. Toss that to the side. We're also not going to need that anymore. Okay, then you're going to want to get a, what is that? Oh, I told you guys a 26. I think it's, that's a 25 millimeter. I don't know if you can see that or not. You're going to take my word for it. <laughs> that's a 25 millimeter wrench but anyway then you're going to take that break this free this is going to be the actual heater uh the intake heater right here break that free get it loose and spin that out of there unscrew it and once you get it loosened up and pulled out it'll slide all the way out and i don't know about you guys but that in my opinion, that's, that's pretty big. I mean, I know it's not gonna cause a ton of restriction, but you, I mean, it's gotta be causing at least, I don't know, 15% restriction based on the size of that, uh, the, the intake tube. I mean, check that out. Oh, I'm dropping everything. But, so, I mean, just in my opinion, it's a good little mod to do, even if you weren't gonna run a boost gauge, you can uh, buy this block off plate and it comes with a little Allen key uh, second block off plate that you can leave this in here and just block off your air intake heater. Uh, you're going to want to screw this in and then tighten it down. And then once you get this in and tightened up, you'll take your Allen key and take the little center bore, bore out and that's where you'll run your boost gauge. You'll just run it right into here. And since this is where, you know, your air is being forced down into the intakes, uh, 
pretty great place to put a boost gauge. Honestly, you're gonna get a pretty accurate reading of the amount of boost you're getting directly into the engine on this side. So, and then on top of that, you're also not gonna have anything blocking all that air. You're not gonna have that restrictive air heater in there, so. Yeah, so it's a nice little mod to do. It's cheap. Like I said, this is $13.95. Uh, got it from Backwoods Diesel on eBay. And I'm happy with it. And it's, you know, it's I picked the blue one. I think they have black and a couple other ones. But it matched this little boot. So <laughs> that's about the only reason I got the blue one. Oh, and there's blue over there on the booster for the brakes. So a couple little blue things in here and then bright red batteries. But yeah, that's gonna be it for the air intake heater delete and your boost gauge adapter. And then if you're going to run your boost gauge, I will make a second video on that. I'm going to get a tuner uh, slash, uh, you know, scanner. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hook up from either edge or I don't know, I might get a Hydra and then just get a, uh, a scanner uh, that I can watch everything with from edge. But. But yeah, and then we'll run that right to there and then route that up here and run it into the uh, cab over there in the corner where all the rest of the wires and stuff go in. Yeah, be a nice little uh, upgrade. So that's going to be it for this video. Uh, any other questions, let me know. Leave them in the comments. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. I will have many more videos. I'm probably going to have another video today. Um, I'm going to do the high pressure oil lines because my factory ones are used, abused and getting old. And it looks like I've got some leaks around there. I don't know if it's porn, but it's definitely seeping. So I'm gonna get all this cleaned up and get another video of how to install these as also um, where I got the new high pressure oil lines. Um, I think they're rated at 5,800 PSI and they are actually name brand Eaton Lines. So as you can see, Eaton Lines. I got those off of eBay as well with the fittings, uh, not the restrictive fittings, the ones that actually have a full uh, 90 degree turn without having to have three separate, two or three separate adapters, which causes uh, a lack of oil flow. So <clears throat> I'll uh, make another video of that today as well. And then I'm going to do up pipes and a couple other mods. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff coming. Just uh, keep an eye out for the new videos, and I will talk to you guys later.